Hi folks, in this tutorial we'll create a simple application using Spring Boot Data JPA. For this I'm going to take reference of my website javanews.com. So let's go to the Spring Boot section. In one of the previous Spring Boot tutorial we had created a Hello World application using Spring Boot. We had created a simple controller and JSP. So in this one we'll create an application using Spring Boot Data JPA. We'll be creating an application which takes uh, the employee information from the user and stores it into the database using the Spring Boot uh, Data JPA and we'll later retrieve these results. For this tutorial we'll be using the H2 database. So this is the project structure that uh, we are going to define now. So let's begin with the implementation part. In the Eclipse, create a simple Maven project. Let's first add all the POM def uh, dependencies that we require. So for this, we'll copy all the uh, dependencies that are mentioned here. So we have the Spring Boot Startup Web because we are going to create a web application. Other than this, we have this Spring Boot Starter Data JPA. This will provide us with all the JAWS or dependencies that are required uh, for creating the data JPA. We are also added a dependency for the H2 database. Next let us create the Spring Boot Hello World application class. So this will be the Spring Boot class that boots our application. We have the Spring Boot application annotation used here. Let's now build this project. So run the command maven install. So now we'll see that uh, the Spring Data JPA starter has downloaded all the JAWS that will be required for uh, Spring Data like Hibernate JAWS, Spring Data JPA, Spring Data Common. So whatever are the dependencies have been taken care by the Spring Data, Spring Boot Starter Data JPA. Now let's create the entity class employee. This will be annotated with the JPA annotations like entity for the key, we'll be using the auto generation. So it uh, will require this generation generated value annotation, the ID. So let's create this class. Next we will be creating the controller. The controller uh, will be exposing the uh, REST APIs for performing the various operations like uh, adding new employee and also uh, taking a look at which all employees have been added. So 
the controller it will require an instance of the employee repository which will be creating later on the employee repository will be will have the responsibility of storing the data into the s2 database so let's create this first the controller will be getting an error that it cannot find the employee repository because we have not still created this so let's create the employee repository Now the error has gone. So currently this will be our flow. Whenever the user types in the browser add a new employee.html, we have exposed a get web service. So the user will get a form, new employee form. In this form, the user will enter the details of the employee. When, a, when he uh, presses a, a submit button, a post will be called and this method will get called. This method, the employee data dot save using the employee repository will save whatever employee information that has been entered. This uh, information is saved using the Spring Data JPA. We'll uh, have a look at this employee repository uh, a bit later. And also, the user will be redirected to the list employees dot html, which will show which all employees have been added to the database. Next, let us have a look at the employee repository dot java. The employee repository class is an interface that extends the Spring Framework class JPA repository. So it extends the JPA repository and JPA repository is a generics and it takes the following two parameters as arguments. The first parameter is what type of object will this repository be working with. So in our case the object that this repository will be working with will be the employee object and this other parameter is the ID will be of what type of object so in our employee class we have defined the id of as uh, type long so here we will have to specify long so this uh, employee repository class uh, we don't have to specify any operations like save delete and all uh, the spring data jpa takes care of all these operations Next, let us create the uh, web pages that we have specified here. The first we'll be creating will be new employee.jsp. So inside this, I'll have to create some folders. Web app, web INF, and then we'll be having the uh, JSP. Finally, in the application dot properties, we'll have to specify these two properties. The first one is it tells that uh, since a year we are going, we are just specifying new employee. 
so uh, the model and you will require uh, the exact location of the JSP pages that we are going to use so for this we will require these two properties I have explained this in detail in the first hello world tutorial and this properties we require it for the data source so copy this So let's build the project once more. So now let's start the application. Run this as a Java application. So here we will see that uh, our controllers uh, have been registered and also our JPA it has exported the schema correctly. So now go to this URL. Here we are able to see this page add new employee. So suppose this is employee 1 submit. So it has correctly navigated to the list employees.html and here we can see that our employee name is employee1. I have not uh, added the department so it is showing as null. So let's go back to the add new employee page and suppose here now I add the second employee submit. So as you can see that our employees they are getting added correctly so our application is working correctly. Hope you have understood this tutorial. Uh, the source code for this tutorial it can be downloaded from here. Thank you.